Would you like to start an online cake business from home? Let me show you how with JotForm Store Builder. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm already in my JotForm dashboard. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner and we're gonna choose My Forms and we're gonna switch it over to My Apps. Next, we're gonna click on the purple create app button in the top left corner. And then we have a four choices to start from. We can either start from scratch. So if we know exactly what we're wanting, we can choose that. We can use a template if we wanna get those creative juices flowing. We can clone an existing app or we can use build store. Now the most obvious one is going to be to build store, but that's basically starting from scratch with a product list. So let's go ahead and choose use template. Just like I said, to get those creative juices flowing. I'm going to search for bakery. Looks like we have three to choose from, but I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this first one. And we're gonna use this template. Okay, so let's take a quick scroll and see what we're working with. So it looks like we have a button for order now, and it looks like if we click on that button, it's gonna take us down to this second page. Then we have a fresh everyday product list. Then we have a contact us button, we have testimonials, we have a map to show people where we are located. So the really nice thing about this with the store builder is you can have multiple product lists within your app. So we can see that we have fresh every day. We can bring in another product list. So let's say you wanna have a product list for cakes, another for cookies, another for cupcakes. You can keep them all in their own product list. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose add an element. And we can see right down here, product list. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it in underneath that fresh everyday product list. Good deal. So over on the right hand side, you can see we have three different options. We have product settings, which is where we go to edit all of our products. We have store settings, which is going to be where we're going to set up our payment integration so people can pay us through this app. And if we want to delete the entire product list, we can do that. So I'm going to go up to the product settings. Let's go ahead and click this and we can see we have product name for $10, which is the same thing over here. So we can either choose to edit this to start ours or we can choose the gear to delete. Let's go ahead and delete this. And I'm gonna call this one cakes. So let's add a product. And I'm gonna do a six inch cake and a 12 inch cake just for this example. So I'm gonna go ahead and do six inch cake. And just for the sake of this, I'm gonna keep these free. In the description, this is where you're gonna put exactly what they can expect from you. If you have images of past cakes, you can add that. But I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna choose options. This is where you can allow people to choose multiple six inch cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on the quantity selector so they can choose again, more than one. And then if we want to add product options, we're going to turn the second one on. So this is going to be, for example, let's say the different types of icing. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do icing. And then let's do vanilla, chocolate, cream cheese. Okay, so now we have icing options. I'm gonna add another product option for the type of actual cake. So let's do white chocolate, we'll do red velvet. Good deal, so we have three icing options and three cake options. So I think we are good for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to basic and then we're gonna go ahead and go back. So like I mentioned, we're also gonna do a 12 inch cake. So the really great thing about this is the icing and the cakes are gonna stay the same. So all I need to do is just click on the gear and we can duplicate and then we can edit this just to say 12 inch cakes. If we need to change the price of the description, we can. But from there, we are good to go. We can see it's updated over here. Now, let's do our payment integration. So you can see since I clicked out of it, the payment integration option is not here anymore. So it is over on the top right. So if you wanna choose this, the store settings, you can click it from here. Or if you would prefer to actually click on the element to bring it back, you can do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click on store settings. I'll choose to add the payment integration. You can search for your favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and use Square, then connect to Square. Good to go. And with Square, we can turn on Apple Pay and Google Pay. I'm gonna click Save. And if we wanna turn on any of these other things or off any of these things over here on the bottom right hand side, we can do that as well. But from here, I think we are good. So let's go up to publish and let's take a look at what this looks like from a consumer side. Now in the builder, we could scroll and we could see everything, but now that we are viewing it live, it's going to be in those pages and our product list is in the order now tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right here. 
and we can go ahead and scroll down. We can see our two cakes. So let's say I really like the six inch cake. I'm gonna go ahead and favorite it. And we can also favorite other things in other product lists as well. But let's say I really want the 12 inch cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to cart and we can choose what we want. So I want cream cheese icing with red velvet cake. And let's say I want two of them. I'm gonna add these to cart. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up to my cart in the top right hand side. And from here we can see exactly what we just placed in our cart and we can also see our favorites. So if we click on favorites, we have the option to add to cart. So let's say now that I've seen my favorites, you know what, I do want a six inch cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my six inch cake to the cart and white with vanilla icing is great. Add to cart, good deal. So let's go back over to order summary. We have our 12 inch and our six inch cake. I'm gonna go ahead and do continue. We'll do proceed to pay. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Google Pay for now. And we're good to go. So as a consumer, if I want to go back and look at my orders from this screen, all I have to do is just click on a previous orders and I can see my order. If I've ordered from you multiple times, I'll be able to see that history over on the left-hand side over here. But let's say it's been a few days and I no longer have access to that confirmation screen. All I need to do is go back to your app and then in the top right hand corner, I just click on my picture, then previous orders. And there they are. Now let's say from you as the business owner, you wanna see where these orders are going. So I'm gonna go back over to my builder and then where it says at builder, I'm gonna choose tables. And here we go, we can see the date, the app that this person ordered through, their information, their email, and then also what they ordered. And we can also click on it specifically and we get all of the details of the order as well. Now another neat thing, if you are working with teams, you can add columns within your table. So for example, we can add different buttons. So if I choose buttons, we can choose to send another email or maybe you're working in a third party like monday.com or Slack or Google Drive, something like that, you can choose send data to other apps and it'll automatically send that for you. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about starting your own bakery business online with our Job Forms Store Builder, let us know and I'll see you next time.